Sugar fucking free. Hey, Sugar Free just dropped the album too called The Resurrection, man. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. That boy is in top form, man. You know, that's a rapper from out of Southern LA, man. That's uh for, from Southern California, I should say. Pomona, California. He is a pimp lyricist. Like that's what I would call a pimp lyricist. You got too short, that's a pimp rapper. You know, he got a little more simpler form, but Sugar Free is an advanced lyricist. For y'all, a lot of y'all seen the video with the cat beating on the table while rapping. That's Sugar Free. Like, Sugar Free is a elite MC. Sharp-tongued, witty, fucking, like, phew, the motherfucker dangerous on the, on the track, man. Yeah. Casual. Now, this is a, a Bay Area rapper that will actually might be considered more of the east coast style of spitting for some you know that underground backpack style he, he's out of the hieroglyphics crew y'all know about soldier mischief y'all know about the, the funky homo sapien all them cats so you know he's one of those he's an oakland mc and he's one of the original battle rappers like y'all do his y'all do y'all googles and y'all see what he brought to the battle rap game help bringing it to a forefront you know what i'm saying and then also he's just the mc that constantly tries to get better and it constantly tries to raise the bar in terms of how he MCs, man. Like, he's definitely not your run of the mill, and he's definitely not to be played with, man. In my opinion, he the best out of the Hieroglyphics crew, and he's definitely a lead MC, one of the best out the West Coast, for damn sure. Another rapper took it too soon, man. Um, You know, rest in peace to the Jack. You know what I'm saying? Mob in peace forever. You know what I mean? Make sure, keeping it mild for you, you already know. But uh, so yeah, man, that's that's one of my favorite rappers. And uh, it's funny, I actually like got into him when I was in New York, and uh, I was um visiting fam doing my thing, and I had this one project. I think it was called the Street Album, and it was like some of the way he was flowing on there and everything, and his hooks, it was soulful, you know what I mean? It, it just it was cold out in New York, and that I you know. It, the shit just kept me warm, you feel what I'm saying? I, I know that might sound corny, but the shit just kept me, like, you know, comfortable, man. It just soothed the nigga, you know, going to having to get on the train and do all that. Like, the, you know, the man has so much soul, so much, you know, just, just soul. That's the word to describe it, man. Just spirit and soul in his music and in his message, man. Y'all definitely make sure y'all check out The Jacker, one of my favorite MCs for sure. Taking too damn soon, man. But he left us with a large body of work. And y'all make sure y'all do y'all Spotify's, y'all iTunes, and stream that shit and cop that shit and support it for sure. Oh, yeah, man. You already know. And y'all already know. Y'all definitely already know. Had to put Pac in it. You know what I'm saying? Some people will consider him an East Coast MC. For now, let's just roll with where he was repping and claiming before he passed. Let's just go with that. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to consider him a West Coast rapper, a West Coast uh, MC and everything like that. So, you know, Pac is Pac, man. I ain't really got to say too much about that. But a lot of his work and a lot of his words as a youngster, you know, really sat in my mind. A lot of people before me, a lot of my OGs grew up listening and reading books from Elijah Muhammad. So I feel like and that, and that kind of carved their spiritual uh, path from then on. And I would have to say Tupac did that for me. You know, definitely, he's he's probably my Elijah Muhammad, my Malcolm X, you know, my Martin Luther King in terms of me being a young black man and getting motivated to desire change from the current bullshit we living in. Yeah, man, some of y'all, first of all, some of y'all might not even understand the magnitude of Ice Cube when he was in his prime. Some of y'all might sleep on that. And also, some of y'all might feel like Tupac should have been number one. But for me... When it come to what West Coast rap was, is this gangster shit, this even even in a lot of ways the rev, the West Coast revolutionary frame of thought, a lot of that came from Q. I don't know if, if without America's Most Wanted, without Death Certificate, we wouldn't have Pop the way he is. I don't know if I, I feel like Ice Cube influenced all of that shit, even from the N.W.A. days, his pen leading the way, and then him the early half of his solo career. Like, he definitely proved himself to be a worthy MC, a worthy rapper, man. And then not only that, he was definitely the most feared. He was a force to be reckoned with, you know? And those projects, man, as a kid, the same way, you know, Pac had that that spiritual upliftment and that, that you know, just that motivation to make a change and to take shit in, in your own hands. Ice Cube had that same effect, but maybe even on a harder level. 
he might even sharpen my iron a little even, a little more and that's why i gotta put him at number one it's about time that i switch it from the norms motherfucker go ahead and shut the fuck up whenever i perform once i shoot my shot you can't fuck with my form more than enough running over i'm a cup in a storm and i stomp through that bitch with the rubber boot with the same rage that i